Matter. Matter is everything that we can see with our eyes, smell with our nose, touch with our hands, and taste with our tongue. Matter can be solid, can be liquid, and can be a gas. These are the three states of matter. Some important vocabulary of this unit is the word shape, that is the form that an object has got. For example, it can be a square, a circle, a triangle, a cylinder, or a cube. And the other important vocabulary is the word volume. That is the amount of space that an object occupies. For example, this cylinder occupies more space. It has more volume than the small cylinder. Now we are going to see the characteristics of each state. We are going to start with solids. And you are going to see a video about the characteristics of solids. Hi, this is an ice and it's a solid. Solids has got a shape. In this case is a cylinder or a rectangle. And occupies one amount of space. When we put a solid into a container, the solid shape does not change. You can see that the solid stays the same shape and the amount of space is exactly the same. Bye! Now you are going to see a video about the characteristics of liquids. Enjoy! Hello, here we've got one container and another container and inside this container we've got water that is a liquid. When we pass the liquid from one container to another container, let's do it. The liquid has got a different shape, but the amount of water stays the same. So if we pass it to the other container again, you can see that the amount of water has not changed. Finally, we are going to see the state of gas. Gas has no shape and has no volume. The shape and the volume of a gas depends on the container it is inside. Physical changes. When the properties of a material change, they are called physical changes. They can change of state or change of shape. Change of state. As you remember, we have seen that there are three states of matter. Solids, liquids and gas. We can pass from one state of matter to another one. For example, we can pass from solid to liquid by melting. For example, if we melt ice, we get water. We can pass from water to gas by evaporation. For example, when you heat water, you get water steam. As well, we can pass from gas to liquid by condensation. For example, when it's super cold outside and it's super hot inside a house, for example, 
in the windows you can see condensation of water. And finally, we can pass from liquid to solid by freeze. For example, if you have water and you want to have ice, you have to put it in the refrigerator or in the fridge. So it freezes. Change of shape. Some materials can change when you apply a force on them. For example, you can cut a material, heat it. For example, if you heat a bar of chocolate, you get liquid chocolate. Bend it, press to modify the shape, and a stretch, for example, with the rubber bands. Bye-bye!